Happy Sundays, folks. Happy Sundays. Now, it's a different one for me today. Um, I've actually come up to the border. I'm on the border between Angus and Dundee. I'm at Dobie's car park, actually. Now, I should have thought Jack would have thought this was a spur of the moment thing, but um, I came to Sainsbury's to get some gluten-free food. I'm trying some gluten-free stuff at the minute. So I've tried to get some from the Sainsbury's here at Dobie's. But very expensive. It's an expensive um, kind of food to eat, folks. Um, I'm just going to go for a walk down to the viaduct at Barn Hill there, which is just behind and along. But the rain's come on, but ugh, I'm going to get to the point now, I don't care. I'm just going to get wet. So let's uh, go for a walk to the Barn Hill viaduct and beyond. Right, I've never walked here in my life, folks. This is a new venture today. So just a quick walk up here and along. It's uh, Dobies. Dobies. That's fine. Somewhere new to walk, folks. There's a whole new adventure, a housing estate adventure. Right, we've got a tree-lined uh, road now. So it's quite a posh area, this one, actually. Might not fit in. Oak Tree Lodge. Right, here's a, fine, a sign. <laughs> a sign off here, folks. Seven Arches Viaduct. Down this way. Cycle down here, loads. Never walked it though. Oh, the rain's coming, folks. Now this is the old uh, Barnhill railway line I'm walking on at the minute. It's quite high up actually, and the, uh, the viaduct's just in front of me. Okay, we're on the viaduct, folks. In the middle, right, bang in the middle of the viaduct. So there's the water going right underneath us, and there's a couple of paths which will go down in there. Uh, have a look at it in a second, but yeah, it's nice down there. Look, I'm not sure what this is, folks, behind me. I think it's an old um, mill or something back in day. There's a wee, uh, sign here. So that's actually the bleach works, folks. Look, the Panmere Field at Bleach Works. There's another mill up there. So I'm trying to get to the, the viaduct bit, which is just, uh, no, there. Underneath there. Right, I can see the viaduct right in front of me. That's where I was a minute ago, folks, way up there. It's actually a lot bigger, a lot, lot bigger than you think. Huge. Put the brickwork on it. Amazing. Let's just take your time, folks. Take your time. We've got four way lights today, folks. Let's just time how long it takes. Meadowbank roundabout. 
Yo, yo, yo. Good morning, folks. I always forget when I'm looking. It's there, isn't it? <laughs> I've been doing this for, what, 10 years and still don't know where to look. There. Right. Anyway, good morning, folks. Good morning. Um, sitting in the usual car park today at Bamsey Barms um, in Montrose. So struggling for walks at the minute. Um, we're into a year, what, a year into this lockdown now. And it's the same places every week. So um, I'm going to try a different walk today, a bit of a walk I've done before, but I'm going to cut through Rossi Island, past the graveyard, walk up to Ferry Den, over the field this time, which takes you up to a place called Craig, and then back round. So it's bits of a walk I've done before, but we'll find something, folks. We'll find something that we've not seen before. And I don't think it's going to rain, but... Uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. So let's go, let's go and see what Right, happens. we're in uh, Rossi Island graveyard. Now this was an actual island, I think, this little um, area uh, back in the day, hence the name Rossi Island. And there's a little chapel that used to stand just here. I think there's a little chapel that's been built in now. But they found three standing stones here, which are now in Montrose Museum. So we're back where we were a few weeks ago here in Ferry Den when it was raining. Today it's dry in the minute. Um, but today so far folks, it's been a noisy, noisy walk. There's been building work everywhere, there's been crashing, banging, roadworks. Just uh, everywhere you go, it's just been noisy. So can't wait to get down here a wee bit and hopefully get some uh, peace and quiet. So that's where I normally park down there folks. Sit and watch the seals and the, uh, the dolphins. And watch the ships, obviously. That's the, the main ship spotting place. I can say it this time, ship spotting place. So we've got no mic on at the minute. Mic's in the pocket. There's a little bit of wind. So hopefully you can hear me okay. So as I said, we're walking down. This is the ferry down to Scurdy Nest Lighthouse Walk. But I'm going to cut up um, over the fields, which takes you to Craig. A place called Craig. Not Craig David, but just Craig. There's one of the old war bunkers folks down there. See it? See, there's loads of these old war bunkers on this uh, on this walk actually. Let's see if we can see inside. Oh, see inside it. Oh, it's a mud fest. There you go, look. Yeah, that's the view they had over the uh, the estuary so they can obviously see warships coming in. Yes, there's one here folks, there's one just there. And then I think it's three or four along the, the coastline. based on that lookout post. Or well, it could be the Gordon Highlanders. Was that the kind of, was that back in the day? I don't know. So yeah, so Gordon's has got a connection with that area, with that little pillbox. There in the distance, folks, is John's Haven, Stonehaven, all these places we can't get to at the minute. It's illegal, you can sneak there, but it's not allowed. So, hopefully, soon we'll be back over there. Yeah, it's like having a Berlin Wall in between us still. I can't believe it's a year, come up to a year. You're starting to see things appear on Facebook and uh, 
Instagram, all that kind of stuff about this time last year. Everyone started to worry about getting locked down. All the pandemics in Italy were starting to, Italy was starting to lock down Spain. And um, yeah, little did we know, a year on, we'll still be here. It's bizarre, folks, isn't it? This is where I'm turning up here, folks. Footpath to Uzen Road. Okay, folks, the mic is on. The mic is on. So, uh, the footpath actually doubles back. Look, it actually goes back the way and up a lot bit higher. So, it's not uh, the way I thought it was going to go, but we'll go for it anyway. Because it'll probably just go right back around onto Rossi Island and back. So, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, get some higher views up here. So, let's, uh, let's go at this. Oh, look at it. Oh, no, folks, it's mud again. Another moony mud, mud path. So can you see the lighthouse behind me, folks? Can you see the lighthouse? Scourge Nest Lighthouse features regularly in my videos. Yes, it does. Um, no ships so far, no ships sailing. And it looks like there's no ships coming in either. It's uh, maybe Tuesday's not the day. Mind you, I was here last Tuesday or two Tuesdays ago. And there was a few ships. Maybe later on in the day, folks when they all start coming back from the, the rigs and things. Well, you can see the viaduct folks way there in the distance where it was a minute ago. Well, about half an hour ago. Right, what do I do now? Do I go that way? Or that way? This way, I think. Now, looks like there's a bird of prey up here, folks. I want to do my bird impressions again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's gone, folks. My bird noise must have chased it away. It's probably so realistic, I got scared. I'm sure it was a golden eagle, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, taken off. It's a pity. Actually, high up now, quite high up above Montrose. See the beaches way over there. It's nice, actually. Nice little spot. But it's got very cold. Hence, uh, hood on. Now, through the trees there, I can hear and I can just see a train, which means I'll be going across the viaduct just in a minute. We'll see if we can get it. Look, there it goes, folks. There it goes. It's even simple things like going on a train. I've not been on a train for months. I used to be on a train two or three times a week, but not. Even that's going to be a novelty. Oh, hang on, here it goes again. Across the Thomas Bouch bridge, I call it now, and into the station over there somewhere. So my car is parked. See where that white building is in the middle? My car's just parked it's just round about there somewhere, folks. That's where Bamsi's uh, statue is. Right, okay, I've just walked under the viaduct that we've seen in the last clip or two clips ago. And we're now walking on the rest of the basin back to the car. So this video is going to have uh, two different viaducts. That's a Seven Arches viaduct. And then this one here, Rossi, Rossi Island Viaduct, I think it's called. So there you go, folks. Viaduct Central. Maybe we should go up to St. Cyrus and get the other one. Two, three. Three viaducts. Right, back in the car, folks. Um, time for a sandwich and a coffee from a flask. And then uh, we'll see where the rest of the afternoon brings. Still a lot of uh, daylight left yet, so we'll just sit and chill for a bit and uh, see what happens. Mm -hmm. 